Back on 280 Sports, Francis Maxwell, Jason Rubin. Great topics to discuss today. Our very first topic is one. It's a tale of two people, Jason. A tale of two fans, two Foxes fans, and by Foxes I mean Leicester City, in which both were dealt with the same dilemma of cashing out or sticking with your team. Mm -hmm. Do you bail? Do you abandon the potential to take the maximum profit from your bet? Or do you stick with them? It's That's the anticipation. Such an impossible question. Right before the clip, I was saying uh, 5,000 to 1. That is what Leicester was to win the Premier League at the beginning of the season, uh, or before the season started. 5,000 to 1. And Francis, our guru of all things Premier League wizardry, did not mention <laughs> that to Jason about how he could retire early, 24 years old, get a yacht, get a cruise ship. What are you putting on it? Like, you putting your life savings on Leicester? At least... <laughs> Four paychecks on that bet. If so like, like $400. Jason, if you said, Jason, 5,000 to 1, I promise you that Leicester will win the Premier League. And guess what? They wouldn't even need to have won. I would have already cashed out at this point if I had enough money on it. But they, let's go to the two people. Yeah. Uh, the two really, really awesome, lucky, goddamn Foxes fans. So, yeah. So the first one um, in the situation is a 20-year-old who has banked 1,120 to well, 1,100 pounds and 22 pence oh from the one pound punt. So not a bad return for What's, his events. A punt? It's, it's, like it's a, just a punt, it's just like, like a, a, bet. a bet. Yeah, with Gladbrooks before a ball was kicked, he is believed to be the first in the country to cash out a preseason wager on Leicester to be champions with others standing to win as much as 250,000. So in that situation, many people may criticize him, maybe say he's lost his balls. He doesn't have oh, faith in well. Ranieri's men or that's what some may say. Others are yeah, saying, you're wait. a smart man. Oh, wait. You're I'll a smart wait. man. There's two. There's so we look guys. at the next gentleman who has got more faith, I would say, in his team, James Weller, who placed a £10 bet on Leicester winning the title at the start of the season when they were priced at 5,000 to 1. Choose to reject Radbluck's offer as he gets closer to the 50,000 prize. So before you get into your thoughts on this, the one thing which is great about my good friend James Weller, who I've never met and I would like to become friends with him, is Ladbrokes took him to the game. Tried to like sway him with nice, <laughs> nice seats and nice deliciousness. So, you know what he did? He did exactly as I would have done. I would have just chilled and I sipped the champagne. Oh, this is a good game. They win 1 0. Fuck your offer. <laughs> Sticks yeah. with his team. And he is not right. cashing out, which he may change in a couple of weeks because the price undoubtedly is going to go up as they try to lure him away from the maximum Francis, price. Francis, for the first time, I think this technically uh, constitutes a philosophical question. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, the idea is do you cash in, do you cash out, or do you go all in? Um, I, per, if I'm using my brain, I cash out, depending on how much it is. A dollar punt, don't cash. I mean, I don't see why you cash out on a dollar because I get that it's like a, a thousand pound swing, but it's not like you put that much money down, you threw a pound in the wind. Let me start using that phrase, pound in the wind. Uh, if you're somebody who put $100 on it or $1,000 on it, maybe you really consider cashing out. Because although it absolutely looks like Leicester should win the Premier League, there's still a lot of time left, and Tottenham is not far behind, right? And I want Leicester to win. But you can go on your vacation, you can rest easy, you can invest it, you can buy your, your missus a, a really nice diamond Jason, ring. Jason, it's like 5000 it's not... Four hundred thousand dollars. No, I'm Fine. saying if you put oh, down you put that a thousand amount. dollar bet, okay. and they said to you, "We'll give you two hundred fifty thousand pounds," for you could be wrong, and you just took the book for their money. That is the definition of beating the book. Now, uh, if you're me, because I'm a moron, and I'll tell you the story at which I could have essentially cashed out before. Was I there? Uh, technically, well, and not the Vegas trips, but uh, <laughs> when about a week before LeBron made his announcement to return to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Before Kevin Love was taken, went to the Cleveland Cavaliers. I put $100 on the Cleveland Cavaliers to win the Eastern Conference Finals. At that point, before LeBron was there, that team was like the third worst team in the league. It was something for the Eastern Conference was around 45 to one, so $4,500. And for the NBA Finals, it was something like around 90 to 100 to one to win the NBA Finals. So I put 100 on both, right? I won the Eastern Conference Finals bet, and instead of actually cashing out like a, a smart person would do on that, I actually rolled every single cent of it over to them winning the NBA Finals. But did it add intense, uh, like anticipation and excitement to the NBA Finals? I was, oh, yeah, of course. Did it we're make up, it more fun? Up, yeah, of course. We're up 2-1 in the so series. I'm like, holy shit. But at the same time, no. 
No, same time. And I could have taken home 4,500. Or I could have taken home like you know, twenty thousand. So, all right, let's be let's be honest here, right? Very subjectively, I'm going to describe this. So I'm as, an idiot. Yeah, I'm going to describe this very subjectively. Like I'm not in this situation, so I can only describe what I envision as being exciting for this. And it's just like to con to continue along the journey with Leicester. I think makes it all that more magical. Like cashing out for me, of course he's smart, but it's kind of like whoa, whoa, whoa. idea, idea, right? The payout if you put a, if you put like a hundred dollars on it, it's five thousand to one. That's fifty thousand dollars, and they'll give you what's they're gonna get. They want to give him what twenty thousand. They wanted to. Well, he took a thousand. He's only put one pound. You're talking about the man who put. I'm telling uh, you the guy who put uh, five or ten dollars on it. Here's what you do. Here's what you do. You take your the twenty thousand. You pocket. Uh, fifteen thousand, and then just put a new five thousand dollar bet on Leicester to win the Premier League. Then you can still ride with them. You already won fifteen thousand. Boom! That's not a plan because then you, your return is going to be like five thousand, and you're going to make like one hundred fifty pounds. You have to pay to win. Yeah, you're going to make like. Oh, you're going to make one hundred and fifty pounds. You're going to make the you're odds gonna are betting, not. You're going like, to be the best. You're betting like five thousand to win three thousand, so you're paying. To I think win you're giving Leicester pretty generous odds considering the sittings. Pretty. But pretty at the top if, of the league. What if they just? What if they don't? No, like you. This is what I'm saying. And to then you. what if all the Tottenham okay. poop people? Okay. I shouldn't say poop. What if all the Tottenham people came out uh, with their bets before the season and they get to win instead of Leicester? It's Leicester season. That's it. It's the way the season is going. It was Liverpool the, season. No, they didn't win. No, because every season Liverpool are get to, are there or thereabouts. This is a team that was sitting bottom of the league last year. Delusional the, Arson thinks that it's his season. <laughs> he does. It's the it's it's going in, all along with the theme of the season is ba is backing something that you just don't imagine could ever happen. But it just adds to the how magical it is. If this guy sticks with his bet and they win, he'll be on the field party. And Leicester. if they don't, they'll embrace him. If he don't, he was still there for the journey. Now he can't buy a hot and you can't buy happiness. Have you ever seen the MasterCard adverts? You can't put a price on everything. And you can't put a price on the excitement of following Leicester all the way to the finish line. I hope they win, mate. I hope you win maximum and take any more of Ladbrokes bribes. They want to get, take you to golf? Take them there. Eat everything. Take the, the caviar and the champagne and then see at the very end, just be like... <gasps> Tickets to the Take game. Take it out, bookmakers. Tickets to the game. Tickets to the game. Tickets to everything. They're going to try and buy them out. It's so sleazy. It's so schmoozy. It's like he's trying to close a deal, but they're the, just like, the nah, I'll stick I with it. I think the advert you're thinking of is tickets to the game, £20. Scarf at the game, £5. Watching Leicester win the Premier League. Priceless, but still pretty wealthy if you stuck with 